Hey guys, I want to show you how to highlight an entire row a certain color based on a cell value. So in this case, if I select active from this drop down menu, I would want this to automatically turn green. And if I select injured, I want this to automatically turn red. So the way that you do that is that you click on format and conditional formatting. And then it's going to ask you which range you want to apply it to. So you want to highlight wherever you want um, the color to show. So I want it to show from, I want it to affect all cells from A2 to all of D, right? So I'm going to go from A2 to all of D. And then you want to change this to custom formula. And then this is where you type in your if statement. So you type in, so I, I'm saying equals D2 to D, because this is where the cell value is going to be. D2 to D equals in quotes active. You have to type it exactly like how you have it on here, okay? And end quotes. And then when you do that, it's going to highlight just the first column green. And the way that you change it to highlight the entire row that everyone forgets to do is you put a dollar sign in front of the column letter. So once you do that, it's going to highlight everything, um, everything, the entire row green. So for example, if I were to change this to E, then it's going to highlight this all the way through, but I only wanted to highlight here, right? So this, that's how you do it. So make sure that you don't forget your dollar signs in front of both column letters, right? So if I just did it in one, it's not going to work. Make sure that it's in front of both. Now, once you have the basic rule set, you can either click done, but if I'm adding another rule, another color, I just click on add another rule. And then now instead of typing everything over, everything's already set. I just change active to injured in the quotation marks. And then I'm going to change the color to, I always choose the default ones. I just choose red background. So now I'm done. So now if you see here, if I type, if I select injured, active, injured, active, and it doesn't have to be a drop down list. If I just typed in injured here, it would just, it would still turn red. So you can do it like that. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to include this uh, sheet link in the description below. Make sure that you don't request a copy. Go to file and make a copy. and You can kind of play around with this formula. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you guys want more tutorials like this. Thanks.